Hi, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. I'm going to do a quick brush-o demo. I have an aqua painter, a dry brush, the Stampin' Up! 5 brush-o colors, which I opened by not undoing the lid. I did the, the pin in the top strategy. And I want to do a design that uses yellow, green and blue for a scene in a vertical alignment. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and spray some water. This is watercolor paper, the smooth side. And for the sky, I'm going to sprinkle some yellow. I want it to be very artistic rather than look realistic. So you have the sky done. Now I'm going to do what will be, oh, this is orange, sorry, green. The green is interesting because it has quite a few different colors in it. Even the yellow you can see has orange. Uh, what I like about these is that they definitely have a very artistic look. In fact, the green, you see the purple coming through, which is nice because it blends right into what I want to do with water, the water layer. Oh, that is a lot too. Obviously my hole is bigger with the blue than the other colors. I'm going to give it a little more. Now, I also have a paper towel to lap up the excess. What I don't have with me today is my heat gun. So I'm going to have to let this dry natural. I'm trying to sop up some of this excess of the dark blue, which actually I like the look of this, I, I want to give a slight horizontal impression. I could use a brush, but I'm going to just use what I've got here to give it a little bit of a, a water impression like so that will establish the baseline for what I would call the skyline. And what I'm going to do, I've already got a card that I did as an example. I'm setting up this particular design. I, I've got some crystals up here that, there we go, that I want to get wet. I'm going to be using waterfront with this. And I wanted to get a little more color than the sample that I'll show you that's finished. And I think I've already achieved that. Uh, I want a little bit of a balance between the crystals, which would be this effect over here where you have little speckles, with the watercolor looking where it's full on water that's been colored with the crystals. So I'm trying to make a, a very hint of a scene, like a natural scenery. And then what I'm going to do after this dries, I'm going to come back in and do some stamping with the waterfront stamp set to make this be an actual scene. And I think that this, so basically you have water and you have sky and then this middle area here that I'm going to kind of let be, I might add a little bit of water to it. Um, it is going to be what I would call the mountains part of the scene. this water dripping this way. That's a little bit high up for the water, so I'm going to turn that. It's going to be a tree. There we go. So I'm going to let that dry. And my goal when I come back in with my waterfront stamps is to end up with Find it. There it is. 
So this is very similar to this over here where I used the waterfront stamp. You can see I made the mountains and I have trees. And then the hello is actually done with smoky slate, the same color as the mountains. And it is done with last month's paper pumpkin. I really like the stamps that came with that set. So what I'm trying to do today is do a general replica so that you guys can see how easy it will be to create a scene. I wasn't even looking at this. This was buried underneath some cards off the camera. And so you can see how easy it is to create the scene. One thing I could do if I'm feeling brave is a little more green in the middle. Now the paper has already somewhat dried. So the question that I would ask myself is if I want to do this dry, I can see the crystals landing. I'm just trying to get more of a midline. Okay, so that's quite a bit. And I think I'm just going to let that you can see that the green speckles are starting to process with what little water is left. And I'm going to shoot a little more water on. I might even shoot it. Ugh, this has a leak. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm working on that middle, look, making it look more green because I will eventually add the tree stamps and then the the mountain as well. So I'm just soaking up soaking up the extra water. It's actually pretty saturated. So that green area there and I'm going go, I'm going with a little bit horizontal. The sky I didn't want horizontal, but with the water and the trees. I'm kind of wanting to set in stone a, wa a, a skyline, horizontal skyline. All right, so I think I will let that dry and I will come back with my waterfront stamps and show you how I will finish my scene. All right, I'm back. I am ready for the stamping phase. I picked three colors. The same three colors I used, I used Smoky Slate, Old Olive, and Daffodil Delight. So these are my three inks that I have pulled. And I am going to be using only three bits from the waterfront stamp set. The sun, the mountains, and the trees. Now, since this is not all the way dry, I'm not sure if we will run into any difficulties at all. Oops, I hit the camera. Sorry about that. So we've got our trees. We need a sun and we need a mountain. And the goal is to somewhat replicate the card that I already did. I did this actually at the retreat. So that's kind of our goal is to replicate that. The dog you hear barking in the background, his name is Fred. My husband calls him Fredlet because he's actually a little dog. And he is getting ready to go for a walk. And when he gets ready to go for a walk, he gets very excited, as you can hear. So I think what I am going to start with is just to get some trees. Trees are going to set where we will put the mountains. I like to have the trees actually start off the page. It just gives it a more natural look. Now we need some trees on the other side. Like so. Looking very good. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and get the sun. I actually might end up with a sentiment up above because 
this particular layout ends up having the tree line lower than the previous one that I did. So I think the sun is going to go right here in this hole that has mostly white. There we go. Very nice. And last, we're going to do some mountains in Smoky Slate, but I want to be very careful to have it be faint. I don't want it to be... Um, so I want the top line of the mountains to show. I'm actually not stamping the bottom. I'm not really interested in this bottom line showing as a line. So let's just see how this looks. Ah, lovely. All right, so I'm very happy with that. Because I don't want this to be a really solid rendering, I want it to be very soft and more artsy, and I'm really liking the, the fact that I did not get any lines down there, which was exactly what I wanted. I think I'm done. That is as easy as it is. Now the last two things, so I'll figure out a sentiment. Look at, and you know that actually the water line is not that much lower. I'm going to be trimming this down, and what I could always do is leave all of the white on the bottom, which I think I will. All of this, because I like the V, the connectivity of the, the way the mountain connects to the water um, in the central lineup. So I think that's great. I'm going to take off the sides, take off the top. The sentiment, because I don't really have a good light colored space here, the sentiment will be up here somewhere and it might be that I can choose one of these phrases. Let's see what we've got. Ah, uh, okay. So here's, a, here's what I will probably use. I really like it. The sentiment says, oh, oh, and I'll show you. It's going to fit probably right about here I'm thinking notice this is all very bright kind of a bright sunset and what that says that I think is going to be awesome is every little kind kindness makes the world brighter so I think that that is an awesome sentiment I will probably put it on in a uh, night of navy not black and not the smoky slate because the smoky slate I think is a little too light so I believe it's going to be Knight of Navy. Uh, I will then get all the matting cut. I don't have, I pulled a lot of my supplies from our trailer which is back at the dealer getting fixed and I don't have that twine with me I don't think so I will be adding the twine later and I will Go ahead and still do the matting and I'll, I'll have the twine go on the other side of that blue. I will decide whether I'm going to use this blue. I believe that's dapper denim. So it's either going to be dapper denim or night of navy. And I'll come back and give you guys a final look. So stay tuned. Alright, I'm back for a final look. I think that the sentiment, every little kindness makes the world brighter, came out awesome. And each of these definitely looks different, but you can see how each time you make a scene, they'll be slightly different. I like the little bit darker line for the land meeting the water than over here, and the, the water over here I like better. I like the sky better here. So each time you make one of these, they're going to be a little bit different. I actually am totally fine with this card being more of a of a minimalist design without even adding the twine and I think it'll make a great card for someone. I wanted to also just show real quick I like to decorate my envelopes and so I just put some trees and that splatter the little dots are actually one of the stamps in the waterfront set and here is the trees again in the bottom corner. I believe I did this in Old Olive or even maybe uh, I think it's the Smoky Slate that I did that in. So don't forget your envelopes and I hope you found this brusho example interesting and I really enjoy using the brusho crystals. I think they're a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.